While I was reading the Power of Now book with uh, uh, my friend Anjana last week, I caught onto something that that honestly I didn't even realize I was doing, right? And that thing is getting obsessed about problems. <laughs> that was that was my problem. It was like. You know, I was trying so hard to find out the causes of my anger, trying to make meaning out of it, trying to, you know, you know, learn from the experience and replaying it in my head again and again, right? Like replaying uh, past mistakes again and again, right? Trying to fix myself, trying to fix all of me all at once, seeing problems everywhere, right? Like the you know, the impure way that I love people and, you know, how it's very selfish and um, how I want to, you know, take from them and not give and, you know, there's oh, so much, right? And getting, getting caught up in all that baggage, right? And, and also like seeing so many problems with the world and you know that's so so far from perfect right just getting caught up in all that you know and you know um trying to solve it all at once that's what was you know killing me um from the inside it was um you know it, it's like it's like it's it's good to you know think about problems a healthy amount but when it gets like you know out of control that's when it can really eat us up from the inside. And so uh, and so I realized I really needed to um, pull back from all that. You know, there's really, you know, nothing needs to be a problem. It's just the way we look at it that makes it a problem uh, or not a problem, right? Um, just because someone else sees it as a problem doesn't mean you need to see it as a problem. And of course, we can't, you know, change ourselves to please everybody. So it's actually, you know, it's it's wise to pick just those few problems, quote unquote problems, that are worth solving right now. Because we don't, like, you know, we can try and try, right? But uh, we have, we do have finite time and energy. So, so you know, what's what's worth solving now? And, and accept the rest. You know, it's like, if the rest never changed, somehow being okay with that right because at the end of the day we can't like control the things that go on outside us um you know and the more we try to resist our circumstances um the less power we have to actually change them it's kind of like you know resist and say ah you know this shouldn't have happened this shouldn't be here right uh more we resist yeah less power we have to change them so, so, you know, somehow reaching that place of acceptance, recognizing that, you know, world is the way it is. We are the way we are because we did try our best. Even, like, we tried our best to make it work well for each of us, right? To make it, like, a peaceful and harmonious place. But, um, but ultimately, because we're, you know, pe humans are not perfect, right? we we still have a lot you know we still have a ways to go right um so so just keeping that in mind and you know for for ourselves right i dealt with depression for a long time right um and you know a big problem for me was lack of motivation but that is the nature of the problem right it's like you know i wasn't motivated um i didn't know what would what would it take for me to jump into action and keep you know moving forward uh, as a person for a long time I was searching for that and and so like to know that in that circumstance I was still doing my best right um because because it's like at that moment the way things occurred to me is that I could either do a bunch of things try to please people try to you know, please myself, tire myself out and still end up feeling like I'm getting nowhere. Or I could just do nothing and preserve my energy. And that would feel about the same. Like in that mindset state, both action and inaction felt about the same. So I chose inaction because it felt easier, right? Um, so just recognizing, yeah, that's, you know, 
we've done our best to uh, come to a place we are now. And, you know, we don't have to be all about problems, right? Uh, it's there's much more energizing to move towards what we want to create you know the the things that bring us joy uh right in fulfillment um rather than rather than running like not running away but like constantly you know um dealing with fear i know they say to face your fears right but also you know, if it's if it's significantly tiring out, throttling you emotionally, right? Really consider if actually walking towards um, things that give you joy is going to fill you back up faster, is going to you know move you forward faster, right? Because yeah, problems are problems. If if all we were doing the whole day, every day was swim in problems, I mean. You know, it can be it can be quite demotivating, uh, right? But now, if it's something like if it's your cup of tea to do that all day and it, you know refreshes and energizes you, then definitely do that. But I've noticed I have like a limited capacity, and I need to have a better balance between those two kinds of energies. So that's what I wanted to share for today. Um, hope this helped, and uh, again, I'll see you around. Take care.